I recently did a video um, uh, pitting the Wonderboom 2 uh, versus the Soundcore Boost. And on that video, what I found was is the Wonderboom 2 had really good mids and highs, very detailed, but lacked a little bit in bass. And the Soundcore Boost, um, while it had a really good bass, it lacked mids and highs. And I said that if I could combine the two together, um, that would be the ideal speaker for me. So what I've done is I've ordered uh, the Soundcore Pro Plus. And hopefully this is going to give me good highs, good mids and a decent bass. So it's slightly bigger than the Soundcore Boost. Uh, it looks pretty standard. It's got the on off button here, volume play plus. Uh, there's your Bluetooth, and I don't know if you can just see it there. It says NFC. Now, I don't know if you've used NFC before, and I'll show you how that works. If your phone's got an NFC or your device has got an NFC on it, you can just literally put, hover it over the NFC, and it'll connect via Bluetooth without you having to fiddle around in your settings. Uh, on the back, you've got uh, your charge points, just here. But uh, what I found is a, a good little thing is that this, this speaker has an uh, an 18 hour playback time so it lasts a long time so if you're out and about and your phone's low on charge you can actually plug it into here and charge your phone i thought that was quite handy it's also got a three and a half millimeter jack so if you want to connect it uh through a wire to your um headphone socket on your other device then you could do that as well and there's your charge point there so what i'll do now i'll show you how to use this nfc without having to fiddle around uh with the uh Bluetooth button and any settings, okay? So I'll just pop it on. Turn your phone on. And you've got a NFC just here. And all you do is you hover your phone over and it should connect. There you are. And it says, uh, it's asking now, do I want to pay? So just pay. And it's paid so it's easy as that so NFC is quite handy rather than fiddling around in your settings so next I'm going to give it a bit of a sound test uh, and see what it sounds like and hopefully uh, it's going to give me the combination of the the good bass good mids and good highs so I've got it up and running and paid um, and I gotta say I'm really really uh, pleased with the sound of it um, it's got a decent bass, quite punchy, very good mids, very clear top end. So when I said I wanted to combine the two speakers together, this is the one. It's a uh, price marks around about 80, 80, 90 pounds. It is quite expensive, but the Wonderboom 2 is around that price point as well. Maybe this is a little bit a tenner more expensive, um, <clears throat> but I'm actually uh, really pleased with the sound of it. It goes really loud. Um, it's, it's a little bit more powerful at 25 watts. Um, so it does go a little bit louder as well, I've, you know, uh, I'm really pleased with it. Just tune it up a little bit so you can appreciate the sound. So I don't know if you can pick it up on this mic, but it's really clear, really bright. The music's detailed, it's picking up all the instruments, um, and I'm really pleased with it. Next, I'm gonna take it out to the garden. I've got quite a decent sized garden. That's about 20 feet uh, long. So I just wanna check uh, the range on it to see if it holds its Bluetooth connection. So I'm about uh, eight meters away from it, uh, which is about 26 feet. And it's still connected, still playing. No dropouts. Hope you can pick that up because I've got uh, my furry microphone cover on because it's quite a little bit windy out here.
and that's no problem at all. Okay, so all in all, great speaker. Well worth well worth buying. Um, thoroughly recommend it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.